Okay, here we are on day six of our slang catchment fieldwork for our NEC project. And um, we're collecting water samples for silicon isotopes and phytoplankton, um, and also we're doing some lake curing as well. Day six, things are getting rather, uh, getting quite tough in the field, at least for me anyway. So here we have our little field set up. We're actually now sort of halfway up the Slenga catchment on towards the Mongolian border, quite close to Lake Gusenye. Oh, there we have uh, Sasha, who's just going down now to wash our dishes in the river. Over here we have uh, Pasha, who made a, a strong man of the team, who uh, made the fire this morning, etc. Uh, Ginny, looking less and less fragrant and fresh, shall we say, by the day. But we're just like seem to be just filtering water all the time, day and night, even when it goes dark. So it's actually getting, it's actually really hard work. Um, our tents are sort of parked over there by the by by this rather nice sort of tributary of the Slanga River. Um, but as you can imagine, because it's quite close to water, the mosquitoes here are just an absolute uh, uh, nightmare. I mean, really cannot believe just how many like tens of thousands they are just attacking you each time you like you know, even remove uh, a, a bit of clothing. Um, so there's our van that we've been sort of uh, in for the last uh, 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 almost a week now. So the van is completely packed out. We're kind of just lying on top of tents, lying on top of rucksacks as we, as we travel hundreds of kilometers uh, distance every day, really. And that is when we're not ob ob obviously, obviously camping. So Ginny is uh, um, right by the, the the breakfast with the with the fly infested melons and the and the panike, which are uh, my favourite, and some homemade uh, Russian honey. And um, Ginny is acidifying her isotope samples, so perhaps not the the most uh, conducive of lab conditions, but uh, such is the nature of field work, really. Overnight. <laughs>